Hi everyone, welcome back to Scratch Lesson. Uh, this is Lesson 11 and today we will talk about uh, creating a game. So we are going to create a game called Shooting a Ball. This is a sample video of what we will be creating today as an activity. So the gun shoots a bullet and as soon as it hits the ball, the ball crashes and then disappears. And then the ball comes back again and if you notice here, the score is increasing and the shot number of shot is increasing. So this is the game that we will be creating with all that we have learned till now. So let us look at what is required. So from sprite and backdrop, we need three sprites and one backdrop. The sprite is for firstly the ball which falls down from above the gun, then the bullet sprite and then any backdrop that is appropriate. And then we need two sounds, one sound for gunshot and one for the ball crashing. So I've taken the uh, sounds that are already available in the scratch. The tennis hit will be for the gunshot and the ball crash sound will be covered by the bowling strike sound. And then we need two variables which is uh, the score, I mean to store score and to st store the shot. The score will be increased when the bullet hits the ball and shot will increase whenever the bullet is released. So these are our conditions. Let us look at the algorithm. So as soon as the green flag is pressed, the ball should fall from the top in a left to right motion slowly. And when the up arrow is pressed from the keyboard, a gunshot, sorry, a gunshot sound should be made and then a bullet should be released. So whenever a bullet is released, the shot number will be updated by one. And if the bullet hits the ball, the ball will get destroyed, it will disappear, and the score will increase by 1. And as the ball disappears, another ball will appear from the top, and the game will continue. So this is our basic algorithm. Um, before we move into the actual program, let's look at how to update score and why we need scores. In games, scores are kept to keep track of a user's performance and it usually acts as a motivating factor for the user to keep on playing the game. So scores are a form of reward for performance rather than completion. So uh, you have already learned how to create a variable in the previous lessons. So it's the same thing. The only difference is that we change the score by a number based on a condition. So if the sprite touches this sign color, the score will change by 1. So my condition is if it touches the color, the score changes by 1. If you want the score to increase by 2 every time, you can change the number to 2. So this is what we will be doing. So let's go to our scratch screen. Okay, so let's start. First, I'll choose a an appropriate backdrop so I'll choose a backdrop that looks like a forest and I, I need three sprites one for ball and one for bullet so I'll choose the same thing for bullet also and then one for gun so we don't have gun in the scratch so I've downloaded a PNG file here so this is my gun okay let's, let's reduce the size to 50% Maybe 30. Okay, so we'll do one by one. So first I will set the costumes for ball. So ball, I don't need all of this. Just need one and then I need another costume where it shows that it has been crashed. So I need to, it to be the same color. So I'll choose this. So the color is selected and I'll draw some few smaller circle so that it looks like there has been a 
crash or destruction of the bog. So larger. So this will be my custom and I'm, I'm bringing this to crash. Okay. So this is my ball ready and this is for bullet. So I'll just rename this to bullet. And I don't need it to be the same color, so I'll keep the purple one as my bullet. And finally the gun one, I'll set the position here and I'll change its direction upward. This will be my gun. My ball needs to start from up and the bullet needs to be smaller than the gun. So I'll reduce the size. I think this is fine. Now let's start coding for the ball first. So ball, when the green flag is pressed, we need to initialize everything. So firstly, we'll initialize the variable. Oh, I need to create the variable. The variable is one is score, the other one is short. So we will set both the variables to zero. If you don't want your score and shot to appear here, it's up to you. You can change the position. Okay, so it has been initialized. Then I need it to go to position because it has to be initialized. So the ball will go up and then then now our main event starts. So forever it will move down, move 10 steps and to make it wait go slower I'll make it wait for maybe half a second. So and of course um, ball if you see the direction it's towards the right so it will move left and right so I don't want that. I don't want my ball to move left and right. I want it to move downwards. So I'll change the direction, starting direction to maybe a little bit downward. And this will be my direction. So it will move in that direction. And I need to insert the if on edge bounce so that it will come back. All right, so the ball will keep moving in that direction. So this is my initialization for the ball. Now let's initialize my bullet. So bullet, whenever the up button is pressed, whenever the up arrow is pressed, it will change score. So it change shot by one. And for the movement of the bullet from the gun position to up, we will use glide. Glide from here till it has to go till the highest Y position. So let's try 160. Um, it stops there. So I'll do 170. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so <clears throat> it has to go there and then it will hide as soon as it reaches the that position, it will hide and it will come back to the initial position which is which is twenty-four and negative one hundred and six and then it will show. Let's see. Okay, that's fine. And then, um, and then I need to make a sound, right? So I'll have to add a sound. So sound we decided was this one was for tennis, tennis hit. So let's look at tennis hit. So I'll add this, and then we'll play. Start sound as soon as 
this one this works okay so my bullet is also set now i need to set the condition so condition is if the ball touches the bullet then the ball gets destroyed the score increases by one then the ball starts from the beginning so let's start with the condition so if let's sensing block if the ball touches the bullet then the first thing that should happen is the score should increase by one <clears throat> the score will increase by one and of course we need to play the sound so sound we decided was um, bowling strike Bowling strike just to save some time. So I've selected that sound and it will play the sound play until done. That's fine. Then it will change costume. Switch costume too because we have two costumes where the destruction costume is also there. So no, we'll switch costume at the beginning itself. Switch costume to crash, change the score, play, <coughs> and before it disappears, I want this to glide towards the end of the screen and then only disappear. So, end of the screen will be from maybe negative 163 something. Let's see anyway, and then it will hide. Do a height and it will go back to its initial position. So initial position is negative three and one to one, and then it will come back to its original costume, which to a ball, and then it will show. So let's see. Sliding and then it appears again, so it's fine. I think it's fine. So, if you can see, my shot is, has also increased and my score has also increased. Shots increase when the bullet is released, and the score increase when the bullet hits the ball. So I think maybe we need to hide the ball before we start this. So I'll hide the ball here. So um, instead of putting the height at the top, um, I'll put show at the top because and as soon as the arrow is pressed, the bullet needs to be shown. And after that, it is hidden, so this should work. And my ball, this is also because my initialization is not correct. So I have to initialize this. Um, what's the costume? So before I start the if condition. So for whenever the forever starts my ball needs to be its own original one this is fine right. let's see if the ball reacts when i keep it here it's not reacting which means my program is now um complete so whenever we make a program we have to make sure that it's a full circle the initialization has to be there ending has to be there and after the ending it has to be able to come back to the initial position. So this is my ending and whenever I click the green button, it should come back to the initial position. In initial position is ball starts at the top, bullet is not there, score is zero, shot is zero. 
So it's very important to make your initialization correct. So this is the um, sample activity and we will be providing you with a tux shorty based on this. So this uses all of the sprites, all of the blocks that you have been using till now, especially focusing on uh, the score and the shot. So that's it for the lesson today. Have a good day.